So I'm going to talk about uh, tau uh, fragments and their role in neurotoxicity and as plasma biomarkers. It's really picking up on recent work that we've been doing looking at how proteases cleave tau into different fragments and what then happens to those fragments. One is do they cause neurotoxicity to other cells in the brain? Can they actually transfer from one cell to another and cause disease, if you like, in downstream cells? The other is, can we take those fragments and the signature that you see from the profile of, of tau fragments and pick that up in the blood or even in cerebral spinal fluid? And so we're using an advanced proteomics approach to actually identify those fragments within the plasma and then see if we can see differences in different forms of dementia and obviously relative to individuals without dementia. So at the moment, the, the pilot discovery phase program that we've done to identify the protein profile is using some Alzheimer's individuals. These are patients we recruited a number of years ago and we've obtained plasma samples. And then we're comparing that with a group of age match controls, very closely matched for a number of other parameters as well. And that's the population we're using, 26 of the Alzheimer's, 30 of the controls. So it's a small discovery phase cohort, but it's allowed us to get very powerful discrimination on a profile of plasma proteins. Um, at the moment, we can go down to a, pro, uh, a signature of 15 different proteins and we can get clear separation of the Alzheimer's individuals from the controls. A number of those key proteins have not uh, been studied in terms of dementia before. We're still trying to understand what they're doing and what you know, other insight they might give us into disease mechanisms. Uh, we've also then want to put on top of that, if you like, layer on top of the plasma proteomics, the tau peptide fragment proteomics. And basically, we've got all the materials and so on to do that. We're in the process of working that through because we believe that at that level, we will get even better discrimination, particularly between different forms of dementia.